I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and today I'll show you how to create a thank you page where your product will be available for download. Once a successful payment has been made, your customers will be directly linked to a page where they can easily access the downloadable item. Once you have completed the setup using the WP eStore plugin to create the digital product delivery, your thank you page will look something similar to my demonstration. So once your customer has had a successful payment through PayPal, they will be directed to a thank you page where the digital product is able to be downloaded. I'll just quickly show you. This is the page and this will be the downloadable item. So they will be able to access this straight away. The features of this eStore plugin allow you the security of your downloadable item and it gives you the freedom to decide how long the digital item is available for. Now that you can see what it will look like once you have completed your own thank you page, I will now take you through the steps. To give your customers somewhere to be directed to after a successful payment has been made, you will need to create a thank you page. Pages, add new. I'm just going to say thank you for your purchase. Once you've got a title, just give your customers a bit of a description. Once this is done, you'll need to put in the short code. To get the short code, you'll need to go to the WP eStore um, documentation and once you're on the instant digital product delivery on a thank you page, scroll down. This page is actually very helpful if you're still stuck on how to create your own. But right here, you'll see WP eStore display transaction result. So you can just copy this and paste it straight in. So I'm going to save my draft now. Now that your thank you page is completed, it will give your customers somewhere to be directed to once a successful PayPal payment has been made. Not only will your customers be able to access the download straight from this short code, but they will also receive the usual email that is sent out. Before we move on, we will need to copy this link to put into our PayPal settings so that it allows our customers to be redirected. Now that your link has been copied, you'll need to log into your PayPal account. The next step is to enable PDT and auto return in your PayPal account. To complete these two configuration steps in our PayPal accounts, we'll need to go to the settings profile and settings, to selling tools and then you'll see something that says website preferences. So I've already turned mine but you'll have to go to update and just ensure that auto return is on. Next scroll down to the return URL field and we will paste in what we have copied from our thank you page. This way our customers will be directed after a successful PayPal purchase. Now just scroll down further and you'll see Payment Data Transfer, also known as PDT. Just ensure that you have clicked on. The final step to configure our PayPal settings is to copy this long identity token. Just make sure you've got it right from the start to the finish. And I'm just going to copy it, but you're welcome to copy that into a clipboard. The most important thing now is to just scroll down and save the changes that you've made. The next step is to paste the identity token that we've just copied into our WP eStore settings. So WP eStore settings. Now that you're in your settings, you'll just need to go to Payment Gateway Settings. Click on that and just scroll down. So use PayPal Payment Gateway. Make sure that that's checked so the customers are able to check out through PayPal. Uh, make sure you've got the right email in. As you can see, there's a lot of other things that you can customize here, but we're just going to scroll down and in our PDT identity token, we're just going to paste what we've copied from PayPal settings. Now that we've updated our payment gateway settings, you'll just need to scroll down and simply click update. Now what you'll need to do is just go back to your thank you page, copy this URL again, or if you have it saved in your clipboard, just grab it from there. WP eStore settings and this time you'll need to be in the general settings. So if you scroll right down, you'll see the return URL field. Just paste that in there and then just continue to scroll down and towards the bottom, you'll see post payment processing settings. 
We'll just need to come here and make sure that an able transaction result display has been checked. And if that is done, you'll just update options. Now that you have configured all your settings to ensure customers are able to be directed back to the thank you page, you'll just need to simply create a product. Add edit products in your WPE store menu. I'm just gonna create a product. I'm gonna have a digital image. And this time I'm gonna use a bird image. Um, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna make mine one cent um, so that I can put a transaction through, but you can put the product name and price that you'd like. Now I'm gonna add the additional product detail. Um, you can add an image of the product you're trying to sell. I'm just gonna add the image of the actual bird. Insert. The next step is to just scroll right down and the digital content details. This is where you actually put in your digital product so that people can download it. So I'm gonna go upload file, select files. This is my image that I'm gonna have for sale, but yours might be a document of a PDF, um, a cookbook, anything of the sorts. So now that that's done, just make sure that it's downloadable. You can have a duration of the download link. Um, so I'm gonna give my customers two hours to be able to download it and the download limit count. This will allow them to click on your downloadable product um, a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna have three times that they can try and download it. Now that you've completed your product, all you'll need to do is save the product. Now that all the steps have been completed, I'm just gonna publish my thank you page out. So you'll just come onto it and all I have to do is publish. All that's left to do now is simply create a post so that people are able to click on your product to purchase. So now I'm just gonna use another short code, um, the add to cart button. I've just inserted that in my, into my post, as you can see the short code right there. Um, and that way it will allow my customers to be able to click on it. So I'm just gonna publish that straight out. So what I've done is I've added this to a menu bar um, so that people can actually come to my site and download this item. So I'll just show you now so I'll go to the products, high resolution bird. It will come up there and I'll go through all the steps. So add cart, it's come up in my nice little cart on the sidebar and I'm gonna check out with PayPal now. And it will just redirect me now to my thank you page. So if everything has been done correctly, you'll be redirected to this thank you page where you can just easily download the item and there is my bird image. So that completes my tutorial on digital product delivery on a thank you page. Um, if you've still got any questions, you're welcome to head over to the forum or just email us. Thank you.